Maxillary molars. The outline form for the maxillary first and second molar is very similar. It is triangular and located in the mesial half of the tooth with the base to the facial and the apex towards the lingual. The mesiobuccal canal orifice is located under the mesiobuccal cusp tip. The distal buccal canal orifice is found under the distal cusp and is slightly lingual to the main mesiobuccal canal. The palatal canal orifice usually lies under the mesiolingual cusp tip. The orifice of the mesiolingual canal is located 1 to 3 mm lingual to the main mesiobuccal canal. It is slightly mesial to a line drawn from the mesiobuccal to the palatal canal. The access preparation into enamel is made with a number 4 or number 6 round burr in the center of the crown and parallel with the long axis of the tooth. The pop chamber is located by using an endodontic explorer. After giving an intrapulpal injection, the roof of the pop chamber is removed completely using a number 4 or 6 round burr with an in and out motion. A large diamond burr is used to modify the access preparation and establish a direct line access to the orifice of each canal. A large pulp stone is found on the floor of the pulp chamber of this tooth. With the use of a spoon excavator or an endodontic explorer, the pulp stone is removed. The pulp chamber is irrigated with sodium hypochlorite and the pulps are removed using barbet brooches. The coronal portion of each canal is flared with rotary instruments to establish straight line access to each root. Sodium hypochlorite is used to remove the generated debris. Gates glidden burrs are used to establish straighter line access to each canal. The canals are now ready for cleaning and shaping. After following the same protocol, Similar access outline is observed in a maxillary molar with full crown coverage.